Hi, this is Aya Norris. This is a video to help you with Western dressage suitability and Western dressage hack class. Western dressage suitability is found in the WD rules under rules 132 through 136. The objective of Western dressage suitability class is the following. To confirm that the horse's muscles are loose and supple, and that it moves freely forward in a clear, steady rhythm with a look of forward impulsion with purity of gates and accepting light contact with the bit. The horse should show lightness of the forehand and engagement of the hindquarters. Resistance and tension of the horse is to be penalized. The horse's potential as a Western dressage mount to be considered. The Western suitability class is to be judged 70% on the performance of gates and transitions with attention to impulsion and submission and using the objectives above as a reference and 30% on rider's position seat and effect of the aids. Horses to enter the at the working jog in a counterclockwise direction, which is tracking left. Horses must perform all gates both ways of the ring. Gates shall be working walk, working jog, working lope. Free walk on a loose rein with the horse stretching forward and down shall be performed in at least one direction. Horses will be asked to reverse at the working jog or working walk at the judge's discretion. Jog work may be ridden posting or sitting. In the lineup, horses must stand quietly and may be asked to back individually or as a group. Again, under Western dressage suitability, it is to be judged 70% on the performance of gates and transitions with attention to impulsion and submission, and using the objectives above as a reference, as well as 30% will be judged on the rider's position, seat, and effect of the aids. Basically, they're saying here that the horses at this level will accept connection, be slightly round to the bridle, will be active in working walk, working jog, and working lope, but they are not yet ready to be asked for lengthenings or for collection. They're looking for a horse that's coming into this division from other divisions with the idea that it's either a green horse or a horse that's coming in from another division that's being evaluated for its suitability in Western dressage. Under WD-137, there is the following rule, which says, once a horse has been shown in a Western dressage hat class, that horse may subsequently not be shown in a Western dressage suitability class. In other words, horses that are shown in hat classes are more advanced horses. They're being asked for lengthening and more um, impulsion and collection and they're not supposed to be in the suitability class, so they're ineligible for the suitability class. Also, there are a couple more rules. WD-136, at a breed-restricted or multi-breed competition, a judge licensed in that breed or breeds is eligible to officiate this class. What this means is that your Western dressage suitability class might be judged by a USCF WD a Western dressage judge, or if you're at an Arab show or a Morgan show or a breed restricted show, a judge with a license for that breed might be judging your Western dressage suitability class. Classes may be divided for open, amateur, junior exhibitor, stallions, geldings, and mares. If classes are divided, a championship class is recommended. A separate junior exhibitor championship class may be offered. 
appointments, which as you remember, are tack, equipment, and attire. Those are found under Western Dressage Rules Subchapter 5 under the word appointments. And that would be WD Rules 120 through 125, tack, equipment, and attire. It will tell you everything that is legal or not legal for uh, Western Dressage tack and attire. And um, what is legal for the regular dressage test is appropriate for the Western Dressage suitability. So this is all listed in WD 120 through 125. Western Dressage Hack class, the rules are listed in WD-137 through 141. WD-140 tells us the objectives of the class. In addition to the objectives as defined in WD-135 for Western Dressage suitability, horses should begin to show more pushing power and show progression towards a degree of balance and throughness. The horse should be light on the bit. A greater degree of straightness, bending, suppleness, and throughness is required. There should be a distinct and clear distinction between the gates working and lengthening. The horse's ability as a Western dressage mount is being considered. To be judged this class, Western Dressage Hack class, is judged 70% on performance of gates and transitions with attention to impulsion, submission, and using the objectives as referenced above WD-140. And 30% will be on the rider's position seat and effect of the aids. In other words, in this class, they're expecting a horse, they are referencing more pushing power to show up progression towards a degree of balance and throughness, they're talking about the ability or to show some progression towards showing collection and uphill balance self-carriage. The horse should be clearly light on the bit, but it should be on the bit. It should have a greater degree of straightness and bending, so it should be supple, it should be through, and clear distinction of gates between the working and lengthening, which is clear ability to show engagement and impulsion. So this basically says that they're looking for a horse with the strength and the ability to go on if they're talking about pushing power and a degree of balance and throughness, horses that have the ability to begin to show some collection for the levels two through five. Not that the horse has to be at those levels, but that it has the potential to be going towards those levels. Under Western Dressage Hat Class, WD 141, it says the class shall be run as followed. Here's the specification. Horses to enter at the working jog, which may be rising or sitting in a counterclockwise direction, which is tracking left. Horses must perform a working walk, working jog, working lope and a lengthening of strides at the jog and the lope in both directions. Free walk on a long rein with the horse stretching forward and down to be performed at least one direction. So clearly working walk, working jog, working lope and lengthening of jog and lengthening of lope both ways of the ring, free walk at least once. Then additionally, a back may only be asked for in the lineup. Transition into and out of the lope will be asked through the working jog. Horses will be asked to reverse directions at the judge's discretion. Jog work may be ridden sitting or rising. So again, they're looking for a horse that has the potential to show a greater ability to take weight behind, to clearly lengthen the strides, to have an ability to show more uphill positioning. And although the horse does not need to be in level two through five, they're looking for horses that have the innate ability to collect and to show impulsion and changes of gait. So this is why the Western Dressage Hack horse 
is not eligible to go back into suitability after it has been exhibited in dressage hack. It's to be judged 70% on performance of gates and transitions with attention to impulsion, submission, and using the ob objectives as referenced above WD-140, 30% on rider's position, seat, and effect of the aids. So some general rules again, WD-137 again, Western Dressage Hack class is open to any horse, pony, or mule. However, once a horse has been shown in Western Dressage Hack class, that horse may not subsequently be shown in Western Dressage suitability because if the horse has progressed to the Hack class, it is not in the suitability uh, division anymore. Also, again, the same thing, WD-136, at a breed-restricted or multi-breed competition, a judge licensed in that breed is eligible to officiate this class. That means that this class might be judged by a licensed WD judge, or if you are at an Arab show, it might be judged by a licensed Arab judge. Classes may be divided open, amateur, junior exhibitor, stallions, geldings, and mares. If classes are divided, a championship class is recommended. A separate junior exhibitor championship class may be offered. Under appointments, and remember, appointments are pack and equipment. Refer to WD subchapter five appointments. And these are rules WD 120 through 125, which tell you all about tack, equipment, and attire. And um, these rules, WD 120 through 125, refer to Western Dressage Hack as well as all of your normal Western Dressage classes. So the tack that is legal for your traditional Western Dressage um, tests are the legal equipment and is listed here on WD 120 through 125 tack equipment and attire. Thank you for this time with you and we will talk to you again soon. Take care and bye-bye.